What's up guys welcome back to Android app development tutorial. Now in this video I am gonna continue my discussion on recycler view and card view. So let me jump onto the Android studio and show you the codes. Now here inside the Android studio I have created a new project recycler view card view as I am going to implement card view as well as recycle view. So I have given it a name recycler view card view. Nothing so great. Now here is my package name. This is my package name. Now before I proceed with the tutorial, I would like you to go to the project view. Now inside the project view, simply migrate to this build.gradle which is present inside the application directory. Clear? Now this build.gradle, just open it. Now guys, here we need to compile these two lines of codes. Now these are the compile time dependencies that you have to include in order to implement the recycler view as well as to in order to implement the card view. After including these two lines of codes just you need to do just go to build and just click on rebuild project. The grader will rebuild your project and your compile time dependencies will be added to your application. So in the last video we discussed few steps to follow in order to get the layout like this. Now our first step is to create the data source. So in order to create the data source inside the drawable folder I have pasted many images of animals such as cat, such as deer or dog or parrot like this. My choice is too bad. So you guys can select as many images as totally up to your choice and paste it inside the drawable folder. Now make sure guys these images are not too big. I have taken few small images. And also inside the Java directory I have already created two classes. Just to save time guys I have already created these two Java files. Now this is my data file. Now this data file contains a method get data that will be called from our main activity. Now inside the get data method we are having array list. Now this array list contains the information objects. Now let us check out our information object. This information object contains two field variables. One is the integer and another is the string. Now this integer value is actually a reference to all, all these images present inside the drawable folder. Now string title will tell us what kind of image is this cat1, cat2, dog1, dog2 or somewhat like this. So this is our information class containing two field variables. Clear. Now from inside the data.java we are initializing all the images. Here are the reference to all the images cat1, cat2 till cat7, then dog1, dog2, then dog5, deer4 and similarly parrot images. All the images I have declared inside my data.java and stored inside this integer array. Clear. Pretty simple. Now next I have initialized the string categories cat1 cat till cat7 and similarly dog1 till dog5, deer1 till deer4 and similarly parrot also. Now guys make sure the number of parrot images should be equivalent to number of parrot string and the overall length of this integer images should be equivalent to overall length of this string categories. Now what we are doing here we have applied a loop. For i equal to 0, i is smaller than images dot length which is the integer array or you can say categories dot length also you can take then i plus plus. So what we are doing we are creating the information objects. Now inside the information object we are initializing the title and also initializing the image id and storing it inside our data and this data is what is nothing but an array list of objects. This data is we have initialized here which is the array list of information. So this data will contain all the objects of information class. So in this way guys I have completed my first step. What I have done inside the drawable folder I have pasted all the images that I want inside my recycler view and inside the data.java I have initialized all the arrays images array and categories title array. Then I have inputted all these all these array inside the current information object. Clear? And thus added all these objects inside our array list. And whosoever call this method get data 
will be getting this array list information which is nothing but this data fine now let us check out our next step now our next step is to define a custom adapter so let's do it now what we're gonna do inside the Android studio let us create our new adapter class my custom adapter now this custom adapter will inherit a super class that is recycler view dot adapter now this adapter is going to contain the view holder class now our view holder class will be let's say my custom adapter dot my view my view holder class now as of now I have not yet created this my view holder class so let us declare our my view holder class as an inner class so let's say paste it here which extends recycler view dot now it's showing some error so let's do one thing let's hit cont or enter create a constructor to match super all right our error is rectified let us rectify this error also now let's hit or enter implement methods hit enter yes select all these three methods hit ok now here we go our three methods have been overrided and here is our view holder class now this view holder class as I told you contains all the element that you are going to inflate inside the recycler view but before that let us check out our fourth step now our third step is to set the recycler view inside the XML and Java file so let us jump onto our Android Studio and do it. Now here inside the activity main.xml I have defined my recycler view. I have removed the padding, the relative layout is match parent and height is match parent so it is going to cover whole screen. Now here make sure you implement android.support.v7.widget.recycler view and give it the width as match parent and match parent and, I've, and the id I have given as recycler view. So not an issue. Now this recycler view as of now is empty. Now we want some data to be inflated inside the recycler view. So we have to define the layout for each element of the recycler view. So let us do it. Inside the layout let us create a new let us create a new row. Let's say layout resource file list item row.xml. Clear? Now inside it we have a linear layout. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace this linear layout with card view. So let us delete it. And here I have pasted the, the codes for card view that I have already created just to save time guys and to make the video shorter I have done this thing. So here what I have done, this is the card view android.support.v7.widget.card view. Now here is the schema, card view, resource auto and the advantage of this card view is that you can provide the you can provide the rounded corners now here if you increase it to 15 dp then corners of the card view is going to increase and this layout margin is 5 dp fine so this card view will be having a margin of 5 dp for all the directions from all the directions and with a corner radius of 5 dp now inside the card view i have defined the image view and a text view which is present inside the linear layout so not too difficult till now now this image view I have assigned the ID and this text view I have again assigned the ID clear so we are done with the layout part so what I have done here inside the activity main.xml I am having the recycler view now this recycler view will hold a large number of rows and each row will be having the appearance I have defined inside the list item row so this will be appearance of each item inside the recycler view. So each item will contain a card view and card view will contain what? An image and a text view. Clear? Now our next step to jump inside the main activity.java and initialize our recycler view. So let us do one thing. Recycler view. Let us initialize our recycler view. Recycler view. Clear? Alt enter. Typecast it. And after that let us define our custom adapter so my custom adapter space adapter fine now next step will be to complete the initialization adapter equal to new custom adapter fine so we will continue this discussion in the next video meanwhile if you like what you saw 
please subscribe to this channel and support us in a way you can. And also, if you want to download all the codes of the Android Studio, then please check out the link below the video. Thank you.